of Broadway's biggest shows are already back with a bang, and we love it so much. I'm Tamson Fidel, but Broadway's got even more on tap. Winning superstar Sarah Bareilles helped reopen Broadway in September with the return of Waitress. But now another big name is stepping into the lead role of that musical. Jennifer Nettles, a Grammy winner in her own right, takes over as Jenna in Waitress October 19th. Nettles is perhaps best known as one half of the country music duo Sugarland. She made her Broadway debut in 2015 in Chicago. Of course, the whole cast of Waitress is incredible right now. Here's Charlie Cooper with the story. Thanks, Samson. Drew Galing is back for seconds as Dr. Pometer in Waitress. I met up with him here at the Barrymore Theater to discuss his return to the delicious role and so much more. So, Drew, thank you so much for joining us. Are you kidding me? Thanks for having me. Of course. So, of course, the curtains went up for Waitress a couple weeks ago. Yeah. You guys got a standing ovation. What was it like to hear that roar from the audience after coming back from such a long break? It was nuts. It was like ovations that night. I mean, that was one of those things where I think the, we were as excited as the audience was. We were as excited as we could possibly be to see each other. I think the, we had a standing ovation before the show even started, which I thought was premature because um, I wasn't even sure that I was gonna remember my lines at that point. It was a little messy. And, uh, but the fact that like everybody has been so starved of theater and now finally gets the chance to come back and, and, and welcome us back as we get to welcome audiences back has been yes. When people are so hungry for it, pardon the pun, but like, it is such a gift. And this show in particular really speaks to that. And we get to, the thing we get to be a part of every night is spectacular. You talk about remembering lines. For you, was getting back on stage and kind of getting it right, like riding a bike, or did you feel like kind of no. frazzled a little bit? No, because we're all new. I feel like after this past 18 months, we all kind of have come back completely different people, mm -hmm. or the same people, but grown and, and changed in a lot of different ways. And to revisit something that I'd had such a long like experience with, but to get to kind of revisit it again through the lens of the past year and a half that we all have lived through together was really kind of beautiful. But it made it really scary to come back and do the show again because you don't feel, that it doesn't feel the same. It feels like a completely new version of, of a thing that we know. Of course, you guys lost Nick Cordero during this time. Can you kind of talk about how the company is honoring his memory through the show? The hardest part about coming back was on the first day of rehearsal, uh, uh, Chris Fitzgerald and Eric Anderson and I all kind of looked at each other and couldn't help but feel like something was missing. But then we really quickly realized that he's with us every day because he was such an integral part of the creation of the, of the piece. And so what we've been able to do, and it's been, we've gotten a lot of um, people really excited about it. Uh, we've named a pie after him in the show and uh, have actually permanently altered a set piece of the diner uh, in the show in every company all over the world to include um, a big old slice of live your life pie. And as a person who sang that song every day for several months this yeah. past year. Um, it still gets me when uh, Sarah says it yeah. every night and um, the audience responds in kind. It's, be kind of, it's kind of become uh, a huge part of the heart of what this show is and, and I know that he'd be, he would, he would love it and make fun of it at the exact same time. <laughs> Why should people come and see Waitress? Because this is a great 
step back into the world of theater. Seeing a show like Waitress, which is about rebirth and family and finding the best in yourself, given the circumstances that you're in, is, I can't think of a better metaphor for theater, a better metaphor for life, a better score written in the past decade um, than to come to the Barrymore Theater and, and watch us make complete fools of ourselves on stage for two and a half hours.